G'day guys, welcome back to another Carl and Dave Fair Dinkum Dinkum Guide. In this one we're going to cover everything we know so far about pets within Dinkum. So, here we go. So first of all we're going to need a doggo collar. You can get this from in the deep mind and the temples. Once you find it, you're going to have to go back up to the surface and find yourself a doggo. Now once you go up and find a doggo, there's no taming method for this, all you have to do um, is just go up to him with a doggo collar, press left click, and then he's yours. So, once you've done that, give him a little pat, and then he'll start following you then. He's your best mate. So they actually have a special ability where they work like the metal detector. So once you, like, leave them in a certain area for a little bit, they'll go up and they'll start sniffing and digging the hole. That'll just indicate where the treasure's buried. Pull your shovel out, dig it up, treasure for free without having to use a metal detector. So, doggos will go to sleep after 5pm once you pat them, just to wake them up again, all you have to do is give them another pat, and then they'll start following you again. Their range for finding treasure is actually really good, it's about 5 or 6 tiles, um, so they've got a good range on it, they'll sniff it out for you in a fair distance. A little hit and miss at the moment, I've placed food right in front of them, and he has eaten it, but I've placed uh, other like prime meat and large drumsticks around the area and they haven't gone through it at all. So we haven't quite worked out what's good for them or what's not, but so far placing it directly in front of them sometimes works. The tracking distance is a little finicky at the moment. I've used the motorbike and hooned off and lost them pretty quickly, but I will like to see a future one day of them being able to jump on the back with you and then take off. That would be a much, that would be a good quality of life update. So to get your dog to follow you, just give them one pat, they'll start following. And if you give them another pat, they'll stay where they are. They will wander around a little bit though. If you find yourself running through the bush, just make sure you turn back and check if they're following. If you've gone too far and they're not following, they'll just sit. Go back a bit, they'll pick you up again, and then you can keep running off again. Yes, yes, your doggos do go swimming with you. They can be good boys and cross waters with you, so you don't need to have a bridge everywhere you go. So the attacking with the uh, pet is actually pretty good at the moment. Once you hit a target, your doggo will start going after the same target you do. Just be careful that you don't start fighting crocodiles or anything like that where it can uh, pretty quickly kill your doggo. Their HP is the same as what it normally is for a wild doggo. Now, because he's a good boy, make sure you build him a little pen. And at night time, give him a pat so he can go to sleep. And then you can wake him up in the morning and he's still there. Last hint to note is, one pat for them to stay, another pat for them to follow you. So just remember that, don't give them too many pats or you might lose them somewhere. 